Hello guys, welcome to the show. Uh, today is episode number two of uh, reviving, reviving our drift car. Uh, today we're gonna start tackling up the wiring loom so we can start up the engine on the pallet or on the engine stand and make sure that there's no leaks or anything like that that we need to address before we put it inside the car. And uh, to do that, we need to go in the past when I started the wiring loom a couple months ago uh, the wiring loom is almost done. The only thing that we need to do is lay it over the engine, trim the excess wires, put the plugs in it, uh, put the heat shielding and all the, the stuff that needs to be on the wiring loom, and then prop it on the engine and be done with it. Um, so let's start with this. So if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm using a hard rope which is going to replicate um, wiring loom. So I'm laying um, the rope over the engine and um, I'm putting some branches out of it which are going to replicate uh, the different wires that are branching out of the main wire loom and going to the different connectors. So as you can see the injector is already done and uh, in a little bit I'm going to start with the coil wires and almost finished. So yeah. <laughs> So as you can see on my dirty sofa, which is second hand and the best piece in my office, um, there's my wiring loom as well. Um, it's incredibly simple wiring loom. Uh, we have four relays, we have a, a power connector, we have a ground connector, and then we have the only three wires that splice into the original wiring loom of the 190E. And we have the grey connector for the EMU Classic and we have the black connector for EMU Classic. So yes, this is how to get to this point. Um, and now uh, we need to do a few other things. I need, I'm going to put first the heat shielding and the protection so the wiring loom is nice and protected. Uh, there's two main wires that we haven't put inside the wiring loom. And uh, this is our cam and crank. Uh, these I usually run in a shielded wire and I zip tie them outside of um, you know the rest of the wiring loom so if there's any noise it's going to be cancelled by the heat shielding and the protection on the actual shielded wire. Um, so let's do the heat shielding, chop up the wires, put the rest of the plugs and then we'll go from there. Okie dokie, so I have a tripod called Dad. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to trim all the wires one by one to the length that we think will be just about as the original one.
this. Put the shielding on and then mount it up, I guess. I mean, there's nothing much more left to do. I'm gonna run a cam wire, uh, the knock sensors. Yeah, that's it. Pretty much done. And then we can do a test fit while we still understand. See if everything is fine. But yeah, let's go and put some shielding on and some plugs on. So this is it. The wiring loom is sitting nicely. All the coils sitting in line. This is the wide band uh, O2. All the injectors sitting very nice. If I had the box over here that holds the wires, that will go nicely. The main loop is going to be zip tied over there. Uh, that goes through there, grounding point. I'm probably going to run a separate wire from here to the block, uh, just in case because I'm not sure if this is actually grounded well um, but yeah just a short way from here to the block down there um, over here is gonna be the coolant sensor which we need to replace because that's not gonna do the job for us we have um, our um, how do you call it uh, cam sensor we have the cam phaser as well uh, the saw flap I'm gonna delete um, we're gonna be running the long runners uh, because maybe later we might turbocharge the car we'll definitely turbocharge the car later yep so yeah there it is that's how you make from spaghetti wires a uh, wiring loop and um, we have the crank wire that is gonna come up to down here probably if I make up my mind the thing is I made it long enough so it can come like you can go all the way back to the flywheel or at the front depending on what clutch and um, uh, sensor you use so this is it this wiring loom is all done ready um, can be put in the car which is over there not ready so yeah next video we turn the key inside the car and this goes through hopefully no issues with it <laughs> so yeah if you like what you see share follow subscribe all the good stuff this is all for me a long video i know but it is what it is thank you for watching bye bye